Hello everybody and welcome to my first tutorial because it's Tutorial Thursday with Shantan! And yeah, I teased it a lot but now the tutorial is gonna start. So let's get right into it. Today you're gonna learn the throat bass which sounds like this. The throat bass or also called bass line, human bass line, vocal bass, whatever. Uh, it's not actually a beatbox technique, it's a technique developed by Mongolian singers hundreds and thousands of years ago, or maybe just thousands of years ago. One of the biggest concerns in the throat bass is that it will damage your voice. And I want to give a little disclaimer here. Uh, when you practice throat bass, be careful if it hurts, take a break, maybe also take a few days break. Just remember, do it carefully in the beginning and build it up day by day and not forcing it too much. But then there are beatboxes like Tom Thumb, uh, who does the bass line for like 15 to 20 years already. And he checked with the doctor and the doctor said his voice is in perfect condition. So if you do it the right way and carefully, then all should be fine and you should be safely to do that sound. The problem I see with most tutorials is that you only get one perspective on the sound. That's why I invited another artist to help me explain the sound, which is B-Art, you maybe heard of him already, Vice World Champion, best GBB elimination last year. And I also force YouTube for the best tutorials on the topic and cut in the most important parts so you will get a broad picture of how to do the sound. And three bonus tips afterwards by Reeves1. Codfish and one by me. So let's get right into the explanations. I'm gonna go first with my explanation. This is how I learned the vocal bass. It is actually pretty easy. It is uh, the sound of clearing your throat. You know when you have like slime in your throat and like <clears throat> <clears throat> and when you do that sound but constantly <clears throat> And little tip in the beginning, it's easier to do it on a lower frequency, like mm, uh, than a high frequency, like mm, it's harder to get there. So try to have a relaxed voice and sing a lower note because the vocal bass is actually uh, pitching your vo voice down one octave. So this is the normal sound. So it pitches down the voice one octave, but it actually isn't. You're still singing the same sound, activating your false vocal folds. But let's see how Beard explains the sound. The troth bass starts in your throat when you do a little cough like this. <clears throat> it's a high vibration. Some people cough like this, <clears throat> but we kind of want to have the high one. Until you have like this <clears throat> sound. What he means by that, he's talking about the larynx. The larynx is this thing that you can see at, at men, uh, Adam's apple, but women have it as well. And you can control the position of your larynx and it will change the sound of your bass line. If the larynx is high, if the larynx is low, when you, you can control the position of your larynx. For example, when you swallow, no sexual. your larynx will go up and if you yawn, <sighs> the larynx will go down. Please uh, stop the video for a second and try it out yourself. And for baseline, you normally want to have your larynx in a raised position, like when you're swallowing. E e because if it's low, uh, 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 sounding like this. There's also people doing the baseline like this, like Vino <laughs> or Joel Turner. <laughs> But I normally recommend to have the larynx high. So uh, let's continue with Beard. You extend the sound by just extending the noise. <clears throat> Perfect. If you didn't get that, no, no problem. If you didn't get my explanation, no problem. Because we're actually going to have more explanations. First step, you got to sound like a sobby kid. What does a sobby kid sound like? Sounds like this. <laughs> Oh my god! And then step two, you gotta sound just like yourself, <laughs> a normal tone. Uh, uh, yes, one, two, yeah, okay? Put step one and step two together. Uh, the sobby kid, uh, your voice on top of each other. Uh, you get that friction, that balance. So find that balance of vibration, you'll be able to produce the bass line. Oh, 
Then you can modulate that sound with the shape of your mouth. Wow, wow. Uh, if you didn't get that sound, let's see another tutorial that was very helpful by 80 Fits. Uh, one of the most successful beatboxes in the scene, playing in movies like Pitch Perfect. Let's see how s he explains it. Um, so step one, sigh really deeply. <sighs> you should feel a low grumble in your throat, and it's sort of uh, to show you where you should be feeling the throat bass and the vibrations in your throat so that you can unlock the, the nice bassy tones. Uh, second step is to su sustain that low grumble once you once you feel it once you sigh really deep and you feel it so like <sighs> Sustain it with with a constant stream of air so first step <sighs> Sigh deeply second step sustain that low grumble <sighs> Third step is to try to find where those vibrations lock and then kind of click into place and uh, become that really, that resonant throat bass tone. <sighs> uh, sustain and then uh, play with the tone. Perfect. If you didn't get any of these explanations, just watch them all over again. Just go in the video a bit uh, again to the to the beginning and watch them again. Uh, that's the good thing about a video. You can just watch it all over again. And if you see these four explanations from over and over, then you should get a feeling of what to do in your throat and how it should feel. Bonus tips! Yeah, if you found the basics of your bass line, but you're not really happy with the sound of it, I have three tips to improve your bass line. The first tip is by Reeps1 and he's basically one of the best bassline beatbox artists in the world and he's saying that you can change the sound of your bassline by changing the shape of your mouth and you can easily test it by talking normally or if you talk like this this will drastically change the sound of your mouth and it's basically just putting the tongue in front of your mouth like this or you talk like this and it gets a lot more low notes in your in your voice, and the same thing you can do with your bass line. Uh, see, the shape of your mouth is super important for the sound of the bass line. Let's see how Biard explains this tip. You can improve this sound by using your tongue in different ways. So you can make a kind of a filter which makes the sound from ah, ah, ah to lay, 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 lay. That's the sound that I kind of like for a more dirty dubstep kind of vibe. Good luck! <laughs> Perfect. See, uh, yeah, he kind of does it in the same way. Good thing about bassline is that every bassline sounds different because it's, it stems directly from the voice and everyone has a different voice, so every bassline is different. That's why it's cool, so you have a unique sound just by learning a basic sound that everyone can do. Another bonus tip is uh, from Codfish, the GBB champ and God himself. Um, he told me once how he practiced his bass line. And this will also come close to the last part of the video where we go into practicing more. Because learning is one thing, but practicing is the most important thing. But Codfish is practicing every day when he practices his singing voice and directly afterwards his bass line voice. That means he's using a vocal exercise like this on YouTube using it for his vocals la 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 and so on and so on and i would really suggest you do that too on the one hand it really helps your voice and your singing voice and your vocal health and on the other hand your bass line which will sound much better if you practice your voice beforehand and will be much more stable but then Codfish afterwards goes in and does the same exercises, but with a throat bass. In the beginning, it will be super hard, I tell you. Um, but if you do that every day, I tell you it will work wonders for your bass line. So after he does la 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 la, he goes in bass line. La 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 and so on and so on. And they can really help your baseline and your overall agility of the baseline, which is super nice. And the third bonus tip for you guys, because you waited so long for the first tutorial, is something I developed or learned when I tried the anal bass for the first time. He's, he said he's combining vibration bass with vocal fry. Uh, vocal fry is 
Uh, oh yeah, it's when you relax your voice uh, a lot. And when you do vocal fry at the same time with the bass line, normal bass line, uh, 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 and with the uh, uh, eh, 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 eh. It gives like a sharp like eh, 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 eh. Uh, So try to put in a little bit of vocal fry, which can really warm up the bassline sound. Now let's get to the last part of the tutorial where we practice and we really learn how to do the bassline. There's one thing that I will explain in next week's tutorial, which will probably be the most important tutorial you will ever see, because there I will teach you how to learn any sound you want to learn. So it's like a meta tutorial. And the big part about the tutorial is how we learn as humans and it is through mirror neurons. I know complicated term, I will explain everything next week, but basically we as humans learn language or sounds by copying other people. That's how you learn as a baby how to speak your mother tongue. That is how you learn new sounds. You see other people doing it and your brain kind of figures it out on its own how he does that sound. That's why you can see a lot of people, beatboxers who are hanging around a lot, they can do each other's sounds without really practicing a lot. It just clips out and that's why it's super important when you learn a new sound to see people do the sound a lot and just try to imitate even if you think it doesn't sound like him it doesn't matter just listen to it over and over again listen to this explanation i just gave you over and over again and try just to imitate try to imitate try to imitate and if you think it's senseless continue trying to imitate do that every day and when you when you continue imitating one day it will just click i tell you one day you will all of a sudden will be able to do it or you wake up one day and it works because there's also a lot of muscles involved that will just train every day. So very important, just try out. Don't watch these tutorials, not beatboxing to it, but try to imitate everything the people in this video do. And now I will give you some exercises and please try to do them with me. Ah. Uh... And now the hardest exercise, but the best. <laughs> take a take one note, ah, uh, and do all the vocals in your language with it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. If not. Uh, please just watch the tutorial over and over again. I, I know it sounds like cheap advertisement for my own video, but this is how you learn. You need to watch the explanation over and over again and try to imitate what I did and what the other professional beatboxers did in this video over and over again. Just try to imitate. And if you have questions, if you do it right or, or not, just write me on Instagram. Everyone who writes me and sends me messages, I listen to them, I help you guys because I'm really interested in making people better in this great thing that we do called beatboxing. Please be careful, just practice as long as your throat is not bleeding or hurting and I hope you learned the sound and if you learned it, please make a story and tag me in it on Instagram so I know uh, how I can help you. Or, and I know the tutorials helped you and please leave a like this means a lot I really want to give you this content which is want more work than the reactions but I think it's beneficial and if you leave me a like or just a comment or maybe both what that would have helped me a lot so thank you guys so much and schaltet ein wenn es wieder heißt Shazam makes a tutorial I don't know I need a new song for that but t tutorial Thursday with Shazam and of course, write me in the comments what tutorial you I should do next. Next week, as I said, will be a tutorial about how to learn any sound. And I will prove it in the video that it works. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And bye bye.